It's probably like in like 98, 99. I just, you know, uh, a friend told me about it. I was at school and um, I seen them playing this game and they were like, yeah, man, you need to come and try this game out. So I went and bought one of the starter decks and you know, I just started playing from there. I've been playing ever since. It's a real addictive game, expensive game, but I enjoy playing it. You know, I enjoy coming up with different ideals and stuff. And, you know, just being able to do this. And it, it, it's more of a strategy game. And, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta put your mind to it and play Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh Rocks. I started playing, I watched the show like many people did, but um, I started playing and then I quit. Sometime around Dark Crisis, I was, I was in my RD to a Dark Crisis, and then um, I was in high school, senior. I was a senior in high school, and I had some friends that I met, and they they didn't play, but they brought it back up like, oh, let's play and all this, and they found out there was a tournament at D Layer in Bozier, so we went, and this is around uh, Stardust Overdrive. We got back in, so that's how it leads up to here. All right, um, I was in, I was in fourth grade. I was in music class, and what happened was, I got this card, I think it was called Green Orc. One Green Orc is green, old card. I guess it came out the LOB set. First card I seen, I was like, oh, what is this? All right, next day, um, kid came to school. He came, I guess he had the, the structure deck, the dark condition structure, structure deck. That's how I got into it. I seen him playing with it. I went home, went to Walmart, got my mama money, bought some packs, of LOB. Ended up getting a catapult turtle and went to school the next day, got it stolen, and that's how I got into Yu Gi Oh! Uh, I like a lot of the people, I just I got into it when I was little, but then I got out of it. But as I went on, you know, I had a lot of friends that played it, and I realized that it was it was a lot different than it was when I was little. It takes a lot of skill, and it's all it's just a big competition, and it's it's a lot of fun. You meet new people, you get to play with friends. It's just it's a, it's a friendly game, it's a lot of fun. Uh, my older brother. Uh, actually, it's my middle brother, the one right above me. We used to watch the show growing up. I think I was in sixth grade then. I used to play with Pokemon. We from Pokemon to Yu-Gi-Oh! He introduced me to it. Uh, Start showing me how it worked. That was back in the day we only had LOB, Magic Rulers, and Metal Raiders. Then I mean, after that, we got Feral Servant, Living on Nightmare, Dark Crisis. And I think I slowed down a little bit after they when the heroes came out. But it was based on the TV show. My brother pretty much introduced me to it. I had a next door neighbor when I was young as kids. We used his dad worked at security at the mall. We went out to the Bozier Mall, we go to Toys R Us, pick up packs for Legend of Blue Eyes, that stuff. Toys R Us is expensive. And I've been playing a long time since then. With one minor break. I started playing 2001, I believe I was in 11th grade with my buddy, same thing, him. I was watching the show. At the time, I think Beyblade was the big thing. I was playing Beyblade and stuff. Yeah, took a, took a whack at Yu-Gi-Oh. When the first deck started hitting the shells and stuff, I've been hooked ever since, man. It's a great game. I enjoy playing it. You know, we got cheers, we got our little thieves and shit, but I'm not gonna let them take the fun out of the game for me. It's just cars, you can always buy new cars, so what if they steal your stuff? But, yeah, it was pretty much the show. I still watch the show. It got kind of corny a little bit since Yugi, Yami, Yugi, all of them. But other than that, I really enjoy watching it. Watching the show and playing the game. I'm back in the game now, so y'all better watch out. Whenever I was a kid and I was really little, just like most people, whenever it first started out and the Blue Eyes Structure Decks came out and there was the show and everything, and just started going and I found out that there was tournaments and legends in the mall, and that was okay. Then quit, like everybody. Uh, I don't even remember around what pack, but it was around Yada and stuff. Um, came back, we were all walking around uh, Toys R Us, just randomly. Uh, one of my friends looks and was like, we should buy a deck of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was like, nah, it's retarded. And I was like, actually, I lied. And then we picked some up, we just bought it at Walmart, found out that there was tournaments here, that Legends didn't exist anymore. Family. It all started with my family. This guy, Ryan, started before me. They told me about it and asked me if I wanted to try it. At first I said no, but then 
after watching them play a few rounds, I decided to play. Just like the typical Yu-Gi-Oh player of the show, but I also, before I played, I was, used to think it was like super nerdy and I didn't want to do it, but my brother and it, my friend Zach, they got me into it, so that's what I started to play. That's how I started to play. Start off with a sucky deck that you think's good. But yeah, that's how I started to play. The show and friends. I got into Yu-Gi-Oh! basically just by watching the show. Like, I just happened to be watching the premiere. Saw it looks awesome. Uh, it was a lie of how you play the game, but I mean, my cousin got a couple of decks and just started playing and got hooked on it. You know, uh, kind of like how most people usually got hooked on shows just by watching if it has a, you know, a show and it has a game. That usually tends to be uh, kind of the step, but uh, it was really fun, and I still play it to this day, you know. Uh. Well, uh, one weekend, or one summer, I went to Chicago to see my family, and I was like four years old or five, something like that. And I had been watching the show for a while, but I didn't really know cards existed, So, but my cousins had been playing the game, and I found some cards that they had left at the house accidentally, and I started like playing them. But the way I played was by myself, and I just pick up two cards, look, see how strong they look, and I start like smashing them up against each other. But then, like two weeks later or so, after we left, uh, I went to this store, and there was a starter deck Yugi or something like that, and uh, I bought it. And then that's how I first knew about Yu Gi Oh! But I didn't start playing competitively until like Teledad format. So. I got started around that when I was uh, junior high, high school. My brother. My cousin was playing one day, just talking about outside. Tuesday on Tuesday. about Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm like, what's Yu-Gi-Oh? They started showing me games. My first day was Insta Dick. Uh, great, great mouth, old car. Yeah, I ran that. That's how I got into it though. When I started playing, playing for about over ten years now. I got an invite shit. I ain't top yet, but I'm trying working on it. But uh, that's how I got into it. Though. I love, I love gaming. I love it a like, lot. It's competitive. It's fun. I play competitively. I think I just found out about it because I used to play Pokemon. I was, the first card game was Pokemon, and at Books a Million, Yu-Gi-Oh was just starting to pick up momentum. And I think just seeing something different just made me want to play it. And I think yeah, the first time I went down, I walked down to a 7-Eleven and picked up a deck when I was like 11. I think I was about that age. Yeah, and that's pretty much how I went from there. But yeah, I played because everyone was having a lot more fun with it. It was more variety than it was in Pokemon back in the day. This is my sister right here. And little magnet, and like, um, there was this Asian dude in, the, in my class named Adam, and like, uh, him, him and his friends used to play. And back then, I had only knew about uh, Pokemon. So, like, during lunch, like, because I hanged out, hung, hung out with him, I would watch, sit down there and watch them play. And like, eventually, I just kind of picked up on, like, the following year afterwards, like, because I ended up switching schools. And found out some people from a uh it that school played also. And I was like, hey, I kinda like remember that from like a year ago. So I just kinda picked it up and been playing since then. Um I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was in seventh grade. Um before that I was playing Pokemon, a lot of Pokemon, and I realized people weren't playing anymore. And like they picked up this new game and you know, my, my best friend till this day, his name is Kedrick. He he one really got me into the game, gave me a deck. Um we played at school until we got caught. And <laughs> Once we got caught, they took. They tried to take our caught, they didn't take them. And you know, I, we just, I, I kept playing. And then I eventually stopped when I got into high school. Um, got back into it recently, like two years ago. And it's just been good ever since. Like my, so basically my best friend got me into the game and I've just been playing ever since. Like I've always been a fan of the, of the game and the show. So, I mean, I thought, why not play? It's, it keeps me out of trouble now. So, you know, I don't, I don't do dumb shit because I play Yu-Gi-Oh! I have fun with it, make a little money out of it. It's, it's a good game.